Hello everyone and it is me yet again this time though I'm already in the gaming house as you can see well I arrived to the gaming house yesterday actually two days ago already anyway 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 we are gonna play blue cane I actually initially wanted to play Nautilus but Nautilus is banned besides I don't really think Nautilus would be very good in this game so let's try blue cane instead dark harvest for me then we will go with uh, sudden impact I will collection um, Ultimate Hunter, I think you could still play Revenge Hunter, but it's not as good as it used to be. Then I also like Transcendence, Gathering Storm, and of course, Double AD. Uh, besides that, my friends, uh, I was also thinking about Kindred, but Kindred was on YouTube not long ago. And I needed to choose AD Champion, Kazik being banned, Shake. I, well, I banned Kazik myself. I didn't really think Nautilus would be banned, I didn't look. But anyway, uh, if you'd like to see Nautilus Jungle, it's something I played on stream as well, and I could record a separate video. Uh, just talking about Nautilus Jungle, how it can work, why it can work, and how to play it. Uh, but then make sure to leave a comment down below if you are interested in Nautilus or if I should play a different champion like Zag or Timor or whatever you want, right? Uh, besides that, something to add, my friends, is that uh, Kane is a viable jungler and Kane is still a strong jungler. Uh, so that is why I chose Kane, because it's something that is actually meta, right? Compared to Timor Jungle that is useless, Kane is actually a legit champion. Well, let's just wait for the game to start now. <laughs> So, I do think that Red Cane is as viable as Blue Cane, and I think Red Cane is better in matchups where you want to be a tank. I think in this game, for example, Red Cane would not be bad since, um, um, well, they do have a lot of melee champions, right? I mean, Nar wants to kind of go in, he's like kind of tanky. Uh, Shaco, of course, I mean, he's a melee champion. Then, then we have Rakan and Kasadin. So I feel like Red Cane would be good here. So I could have technically went Red Cane, but I went Blue Cane just because maybe um, if you are playing well and you get fed, I think Blue Cane is slightly better to carry the game with because you can easily get kills on the squishies and then hopefully your team will win, right? In this case, maybe I can get the Caitlyn or the Kasadin. And then if that happens, happens uh, maybe we can snowball the team fight into our um well just our favor i guess so yeah again if you have anything you want me to play please make sure to leave a comment down below because um it's very important for me that i test or just play the champions you want to learn um the thing is sometimes you want me to play champions that are purely trolls so then i'm <laughs> not having as much fun but um it's still okay right it's still okay uh in this game i assume my bot will have pressure so i can play for the bot crab of, of course kane is slightly better than it used to be just because um smite now destroys the shield right i mean the, the patch came out like two three weeks ago now that smite destroys the shields but still uh, for junglers like Kane, it is much better that you can one shot the crap. Seems like Shaco started there. This Shaco could try to cheese me, so it could try to take my red buff. Taking W second is also fine on Kane. Taking E is more healthy, but taking W I think can be a bit faster. We are just full clearing because this is what Kane does, right? He full clears. Now Tyrus, for example, can't really full clear, but he can gank better than Kane. What's very important here is that I smite the crap to do it way faster, and besides that, that I'm also maxing the Q and not the W, as you can see too. I'm putting points in the queue. Seems like the botner is rather careful now, so I think I should just base. So here I could buy shoes. I think shoes are very important on my champion because I think without shoes it's hard to gank. But I also think you don't have to buy shoes. For example, double longsword gives you the fact that you will clear faster. Isn't it nice when your mid lane share is, is, is sharing the farm with you? Well, it looks like he already took that camp, so... Oh, wait, he didn't base. That's kind of greedy. That means he's gonna do cracks. But if he didn't base, that also means he can't really fight because, well, he's just much weaker than me, right? I mean, I didn't really check when I started to initially fight him, but now looking at his items. You see, if enemy jungles didn't base yet, that means I can freely gank both. I mean, okay, it depends. If he's full HP, maybe he can counter gank, right? But in this case, he's not really full HP. And because I, I got mid wave, I'm gonna maybe even heal level 6 here. So if enemy bot lane is being aggressive, I think I can maybe look for a Heal. Very, very easy kill, and even though Shaco is there, there's nothing you can do. That's very weird because, um, you know, Rakan was being way too cocky here, and Shaco is also being way too cocky here. Um, I will try to get out. This could be problematic because, well, Nar could flash for me or Katie. 
Very close actually, my E was literally up. Anyway, um, I used to, on Kane, right? I used to go tier, I used to go tier. I still think tier is a possibility, but I don't think it's as, as necessary anymore as it used to be. So instead of building tier, so, oh, wow, 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 wow. He has the, maybe he has the Q soon, maybe not. If he can Q him, then he's gonna kill him, yep. Oh, wait, what? Oh, that's a double for now, maybe. Okay. I am coming, but I'm not sure if I can be there in time. Okay, he's fine. Oh, that's very aggressive. I think he's gonna die for it, though. I'm not attacking here, I'm just waiting for the last hit. I'm gonna smite instantly again to the crab here. Shaco could be here, and he could try to steal the crab, but I think it's fine. Uh, so why do I skip mana minutes? Because, okay, it gives you a lot of mana, it gives you decent scaling. Okay, Shaco took uh, the Drake. By the way, okay, so this is very important. This is very important to discuss. First of all, I'm gonna max W now. I put 3 points in Q so I can farm well. Now that I can for sure farm well, I don't really need to max the Q. So this is like the first important part. The second important part is that all enemy topside comes spawn, so we can even enemy topside because we know Shaco started bot and we know that he didn't go top because he took the Drake. The third most important part is that when you do Drake like that, uh, sure, you gain the Drake for your teammates, but you also use a lot of time to do so. So, in theory, um, well, you can get invaded, and especially if you fall low on the HP department. I could look for the killer. I'm gonna use the lens here, just in case Shaco is around here. Maybe he's on wolves. Indeed, he's on wolves here. So, we can to look to invade him. He's just running, um, so we can just take his wolves. Um, wait, he's trying to fight me. That's very surprising. I think we can kill him here. Um, it wasn't really our kill, and we are gonna die for it. So that's a shutdown for Kassadin. So technically, it's not really worth it because I also got the wrong form. So I have to wait four minutes to get the blue form. But I can bet you that I when th when I do get the blue form, I'm going to be very OP. I also don't think that maybe I need Moby shoes in this game. I feel like maybe CDR shoes will be enough. That was uh, too aggressive because I mean Nar was there very quickly, right? If Nar would not be there, I would definitely get the kill with no problems whatsoever, no sweat. But I mean Nar was there. Um, Transcendence is gonna pop twice soon, so I'm gonna get uh, more ability haste, then of course the shoes are gonna help. Normally I would do Serpent's Fang, but they don't have any shielders, right? They don't have a single person that is using shields. So I think Serpent's Fang is not kind of worth it. So maybe I will just go straight up Edge of the Night, because that gives me tankiness. And if not Edge of the Night, then uh, I'm not actually sure what. Uh, maybe just Yomu, right? Because Yomu gives you um, out of the fight man speed, which is quite nice as well. Mm, I'm afraid that I won't be able to reach Rakan here. Maybe I should have killed Rakan first. But honestly, I think, okay, Sheiko is an objective player, I'm a selfish player. Selfish players, I think, normally tend to be more happy, so... I think that me being selfish is really good for me. Sure, Sheiko is getting objectives, but as long as I get, like, you know, a lot of farm and a lot of levels, it's not gonna matter that much, so... I am sacrificing my teammates a little bit, you could say. Um, because, well... For example, here I got so many bot waves, right? And technically Jinx is not gonna be so happy, but I mean, I'm getting so, so ahead that in th as long as I carry, it's gonna be fine, right? Oh, wait. Zerab is maybe lagging a little bit there. They will dive. Now the question is if we can clean it up after. Oh. Well, I did kill the Rakan, but uh, I have to run. My CDR does allow me to run though. Ooh. Okay, um, their damage is quite high. <laughs> their damage is quite high and they are not as weak as I thought they are. But uh, And I also use my flash to just kill one guy, execute him with my uh, smite. I think Edge of the Night may be the correct choice for second item, I'm afraid. I'm afraid that I, I can't just allow myself to... Um, wait. Malphite well, tried to TP, but he didn't TP in the end. He got cancelled, I guess. But I think Malphite wins this. The only problem is that he has no cooldowns. Well, now he has to flash out. But he should be fine. The Jinx rocket is coming. I doubt, though, it's gonna hit. So now we have our form. So this is the point where we become useful, my friends. This is the point where we are strong. They are gonna get the second Drake here. Uh, but I think the game state is fine. I mean, we are behind, right, on our bot lane. Kraken Slayer to no item and mid lane as well. I mean, overall, like, I'm not sure about Zerav as a champion compared to... Kasadin even, but I mean, the game state is okay. Maybe I should have won mobbies anyway. I know, I feel like mobbies are so important on the champion. Uh, 
That was a misplay, my friends. That was a big misplay from my side because I uh, shoveled it. I mean, I killed him too fast, right? Just because I killed him so fast, I died. That was, that was a really, really bad play. I also missed the W. But uh, you know what? I changed my mind. I'm gonna go Yomu, and after Yomu, then I will go um, Edge of the Night. So that was easy, right? No problem. That was also pretty easy and straightforward. I think I'm gonna base for Yomu now. I think there is no reason to stay. Jinx, I think, could die here. There's a high chance if Kassan can find her or not. Woo! Close! That's a... That's fine! It's no problem. Jinx is a hyper carry. She needs her own gold. It's okay. It's no problem. That was easy because he face checked me, right? If people face check you, then it's much easier to fight than if people actually try to something else. I'm gonna run. No, Karma, you were supposed to help me! Edge of the Night gives you, what, 325 health and also the ability to block a spell that's gonna be very useful in this game. Uh, Shekot is a lot of damage, 300 damage ignite and rest mine another 200 damage and then of course the dagger in the back, the auto and then Caitlyn ult kills me, but yeah, I mean that would ban, like I, I could have get saved I think, I could have get saved. But yeah, I think in this game my team is not really, um, well we have a lot of champions, like I think Malphite can help me out a lot because you know he has the ultimate to CC them and if he CCs them I think we uh, I can one shot people. But I think we, except for the Malphite there's not many people that can actually help me set up kills here right. Zerav, Karma, like Zerav that lost lane, Karma, Jinx that lost lane, they are not gonna be useful in this game I'm afraid. Ooh I'm dead. Yeah that's why you kind of, okay so this is very important for um... You know, Drake fights, when you ever, like, if you ever are, like, a Malphite tank and you ever want to group and fight. It's very important. Oh, That was very troll by me. So this is not the Malphite mistakes that I died, right? That I died is my mistake and my mistake only. I was trying to kill Kasadin. He used uh, his root item, then Rakan ulted me. I'm dead. It's very important to understand that if you have assassins in your team and they want to, uh, you know, flank people and they want to kill people when people are splitting up and all, uh, it's very important that you give them the opportunity to. It's very important that you understand that you need to be there uh, so that you can, they can, you know, focus you so that your assassins can deal with the backline. And this is for, let's say you are playing a jungle now, Tilus, because maybe I'm gonna record the next patch you wanna play it. In this case, it's just important for you to be there. Sure, you have TP, sure you can join the fight, but you taking one more top wave is not gonna be impactful for the game. Then getting third drag is going to be impactful for the game. This is my friends. Again, slightly problematic, I'm afraid. Oh no. I killed the guy, I didn't mean to kill the guy. But, uh. I mean to kill this guy though. Anyway, I would like my Edge of the Night and something and an item that is very important, especially if we are making all these plays and we are, you know, running around their back line, like in, in their jungle and we are trying to kill people. It's very important that you get uh, Umbral Glaive. Uh, and I think Umbral Glaive can be an item you build first as well. You don't have to wait with Umbral Glaive, you can build this as the first item and it's gonna be fine. I'm, I'm kind of like, Yomu is an item I normally never build. I, I don't think there's many games where I build Yomu as an item. But in this game I did just because uh, I don't have mobbies and I just want a little bit higher man speed. Um, this is a little bit tricky. I can maybe run Yom one. Maybe we can look to steal it. So far so good. Um, I mean this is... I feel like really unrewarding, you know, because we steal it and that's like, they are not supposed to lose the game like that, you know, because they kind of just lost the game, but they are not supposed to lose the game like this. They are really not supposed to lose the game. Like, there's no reason. And besides, you have a Kassadin, so you can, might as well just wait for him level 16, right? Like, I don't really know how my team got there, you know? I don't know how it's Malphite top. I don't know how it's Jinx, like, over the wall. I don't know how, how it's, like, everyone just there. Uh, when I'm bot as well, but it's fine. They got so so far. It's one for two, so it's not bad. If Karma can live, I think this outcome is fine. 
I can maybe push for Caitlyn, but I think she's gonna run to top, so... No, she's not running to top, she's actually just standing in the lane. I can try to kill her here. She she should be dead, I don't think she can really survive that. Maybe she would even die to Zera. Yeah, well, she's gonna die to Zera. Right now I'm level 16, which basically means no one can survive me. If I hit my combo, everyone will die, even now. No matter who it is, I'm, you know, two levels ahead than anyone else in the game. So now, no matter whom I go on, he's, that person is gonna evaporate. Okay, that's um, balanced, I guess. So there is Malphite ult, Rakan is dead because I hit my W ult and Rakan is just dead. So Malphite, I, I'm not sure. I mean Malphite is a jungle main, so he's, he's like he's for sure not like a top main, you know. He doesn't like know things. Maybe that's a little bit um, late. Like a little bit late, you know. Like he could have done that, like you know, when when Rakan was out of base and and not so far from me and stuff. But it's fine. This is the game over. I mean, this was an unrewarding game in the end. I have six deaths. I entered quite a lot, and uh, you know, we know we won because we stole Nash and stealing Nash. Okay, wait, wait. Never mind. Actually, this game is not over yet. He didn't even ult. I ulted just to be safe, right? Because when I ult, I disappear. So. I actually wonder, I don't even think I had the highest damage from this game because I think probably Zerav did. Zerav had so much poke in the end, right? Like Zerav was sniping people from half across the map, so I feel like I was not the I was not like the damage dealer if that makes sense. You know, I was probably the the the, the, the support to follow up the damage. Uh, but we are going to see. When it comes to Kane build, um I think that uh, sometimes you can also do I mean the last items would be probably something like like collector is it's rather mech, I think I would do maybe GA, maybe the uh, sh sh the gadge, the armor pen item that slows people, that's also very good, but yeah. Uh, I think the game was fine overall, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it, I hope uh, you will leave a thumbs up if you did, and then again, in the comments, make sure to mention the champions you would like me to play. Cheers to all of you, that was uh, the first, um, well, video from the gaming house since I arrived. Uh, and I'm gonna probably record one more over the weekend with the champion of your choice. So, have a nice day! Bye-bye!